Hey y'all, as you guys know, I recently got a Morelli ceiling fan and as you guys have seen in the video, the plates on this fan, including the plate arm, is not original. I was offered two options to go on, which is to purchase uh, replacement fan blades, original fan blades. Uh, the easiest one was to get one from Dan Nguyen, who is in Vietnam, but I have no plans to go to Vietnam in uh, anytime soon. And the second option is to fabricate my own fan blades, which I am going to do. Um, as you guys have seen in that pre-restoration video, the blades on the Morelli have quite weird curvatures that I have never uh, able to uh, replicate before. This here is the plate for my Ardner Clint 48. This is the first time the very first time I've made a curved tip fan blade for a full-size ceiling fan. Yes, I have made the uh, miniature ceiling fan before, but that was more cruelly bent than this one. Now, if you guys can see, the curvature on this fan blade is rather straight. Like, it's a simple bend. And uh, the curvature on the surface of the blade itself is not done pretty well as you can see it is it looks like it was manually done same goes for the Artner B42-YLA that is an improvement of this but it's still bent in a straight fashion like this one and yeah um, also you guys have seen my club ceiling fan uh, that fan has an improved version of the curvature here, where it is actually curved in a circular manner. I'll throw up a picture on the screen right now. As you can see, this part here is not straight like this, but more circular. Now for this fan here, I want the project to be done well. And not just well, but well, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't want this crappy <laughs> DIY looking fan blade. I want a fan blade that looks original. So, uh, because I don't have previous experience of making a curved tip fan blade that looks uh, original, uh, you guys have seen the DMD ceiling fan I showed you recently in the video on uh, what was it? Uh, it's the video where I bought a bunch of ceiling fans from a scrapyard. Now, that DMD has a curved tip fan blade and the blade themselves are mangled. Uh, I needed to make custom blades for that fan. So I am treating that fan as a sub project to learn uh, to make uh, making this fan blade, no, the fan blade for this fan more smooth. Here is the current state of the DMT ceiling fan. As you can see, uh, the paint on the motor has been removed. Uh, the other blade arms are in my attic. And speaking of the blade arms, as you can see, the blades and the rivets have been removed from them. I have the blades right here. And as you can see, they are very rusty and very bent. I'm not going to use this fan blade again. Instead, I have made this. This is a simplified version of this fan blade here. Uh, the overall dimensions of this blade and this one is very similar, which is useful because I want to learn how to make those complex curvatures on the blades with this one here. Now my plan is to, uh, well, it's to basically restore this fan but also use it as a learning tool, uh, not just for bending in it and etc. I also plan on fastening the blades on the blade arm with rivets. It's going to be my first time doing such a thing. Also for bending this, in order to make a curvature here that is uh, not just a straight line like this or a, uh, how do you call it? Like a rough line thing. I want, you to, I want the curvature to be gradual. I have made this. 
This is a bending jig for a curved tip ceiling fan. I made it like two days ago, I think, in my campus's wood shop. Now, how, uh, how exactly do I use this? I first have to remove the screws, uh, take this upper part off, uh, sandwich this fan blade in between this part and this upper part, screw it down to make it uh, tight, and then bend the, uh, the curvature manually. You'll see this. Uh, you'll see the process uh, later in this video. So next, what I'm going to do is reassemble this motor uh, temporarily because uh, <laughs> I forgot I needed to do testing before I stripped off the paint on the motors. So I have to reassemble them, and I need to test this fan blade, uh, balance them, curve them, etc., and then paint them. All right, I have drawn lines on the blades to uh, indicate where I need to bend them, uh, where I need to position them on this jig, actually. As you can see, the line is right here. And uh, this, as you can see, is the first time I'm operating this jig here because these two blades are still straight. So what you're going to see is me trying out this jig for the first time, basically. Um, let's position the camera to make myself comfortable. Zoom in a little bit. And here goes nothing. Um, I don't think I was successful, successful in capturing that curve here. Yeah, as you can see, this bend is still rather straight. Hmm. That's what I can do. Right, so I failed to capture that curvature here on all of the blades. So, lesson learned, I probably need to make the radius of this curve here smaller but it's alright because well I'm still learning and I make mistakes when when I learn well everyone does we all make mistakes now what I'm going to do is to add the curvature on this surface on the blade and install them on the fan itself so see you in a bit Alright, I have somewhat managed to replicate complex curves on that Morelli ceiling fan blade on this blade here. Unfortunately, this is the only blade that I was able to uh, well replicate that curve on. Here's the rest of the blades, which I have tried to do. Um, as you can see, this blade here is bent in a straight fashion. No uh, weird curvatures at all. Well, this one is mangled. <laughs> I am really, really learning today. So, well, I am not exactly expecting anything perfect, but well, I'll uh, work on these two plays a lot more uh, and I'll catch up with you once I have finished replicating uh, this blade on these two blades here. Okay, I just finished uh, reassembling the motor and putting all the blades together with uh, nuts and bolts temporarily to hold them together. And as you can see, this here is uh, 
Um, it's the best blade out of all three. As you can see, the uh, curvature is quite unique, and I have done a quick uh, alignment of all of the blades. <laughs> This one here looks a bit off proportional it guess. Um the blades are a bit too wide. But never mind. So let's turn it on, see how it goes. Something's rubbing inside the motor. I have replaced the, uh, the bearings, but I think something is misaligned in there. But nevertheless, let's check the blades. Alignment is decent, still needs further work. Uh, further work. In regards to airflow, it's really good. Airflow is actually quite strong, and yeah, that's about it. Um, I have learned quite a few things from this. Uh, one, which is to uh, make the bending jig uh, a bit more narrow and more curved, uh, more curved to uh, make the profile on the uh, curvature of the blades more uh, distinct. Another is how. Uh, I should um, bend the blades to make them uh, to make them have those uh, weird curvatures and all. And yeah, um, this video is not going to do uh, not going to uh, cover the actual restoration and painting of this fan because I have done that multiple times now. So yeah, that's about it for this one. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, take care.